The Bamford family has cultivated in themselves a expectation and a culture of generosity. And so if I was to describe the Bamfords to you, I would describe them as kind in a way that we can all only hope to be. The Bamford family has been supporting the Children's Museum for, gosh, at least the last decade. In particular, um, you know, Cal Bamford has served on the Children's Museum's corporate task force to try to really raise awareness of the Children's Museum within the corporate community. And one of the cornerstones of our work is making sure that the museum is incredibly accessible for all children and families. Uh, we're the only children's museum in the country to offer a pay-as-you-will admissions program, which means that people pay what's right for them. And Joanne Bamford was actually president of the board of directors when that decision was made, and it's been a, a bold uh, move that we feel very proud of. And now with Holly as the current board president, we're doing some exciting work around making quality childcare accessible. All right, I think I'll go down the slide. <laughs> I see their impacts on the institution that I'm a part of and that I, that I care deeply about and I thank them for that. I mean, more than I can actually frame in words. Our, our freshman class, 68% of those students are the first of their families to go to college. 70% of them are receiving some sort of financial support. Over 50% are Pell and State Need eligible Husky Promise students. So you recognize there's a higher need rate in our student body than you would generally find. And the Bamfords have consistently not only embraced those students and their futures as volunteers, but also directly supported those students through philanthropy. So what that means is our, our commitment is to access, uh, to provide a super high quality public education in the South Sound to students that may have not had that access otherwise. Cal and Joanne are still so active on boards in leadership capacities within our community and now you've got their children Holly and Drew serving on boards in Tacoma and that's exciting to see and you see the grandchildren volunteering in the ways that they can in our communities. They're digging in as a family to make our community a better place. I really cannot express the gratitude and I think the warmth that I have for Cal and Joanne and Holly. Um, you all have such bright, beautiful eyes and when you come into the room, it just feels like a warmer place. Thank you for letting me share a little bit of your life, to learn from you and to try to, even in my own small way, replicate the sort of kindness you show to others.